I don't know about you, but I attribute um, the best investment I ever made in my 20s was to my designation and mm -hmm. not necessarily, you know, the debits and credits of what I learned, but just like how to work in teams, how yeah. to like go through a sucky time, how to work with like deadlines. And then from that, how to pick and choose projects, people, you know, the relationships and like, you know, the challenges. So you don't really get a lot of choice up front, but you work yeah. through it and kind of persevere. And then later on, when you do get a choice, you can kind of be like, okay, now's the season in my life where I don't mind grinding again, or now's right. the season in my life where I want to work with good people for less hours, for less money, you know? Yep. So I don't know. What, what do you think about that kind of investing like earlier on to kind of build that seed later? Yeah, I, I think... Um... You know, I think if you coast through, um, and and look, if you, you you probably didn't coast through high school to get into university, and you're probably not going to get into the CPA program if you coasted through university, and you're probably not going to go to a firm or get designated or or work for a company because you coasted. So I think you know most people are who are listening to this probably work pretty hard, but um, those investments that you do earlier on, and and the harder you try and the harder you fail, uh, you know, I, I, look, it it. My my sister's always been a, a big help on that, and and you know you fail quick and you fail early, um, and you learn from it, uh, and and that you know that's a, you can take that from sports, but you can also put that through your work environment, and uh, yeah, I think it's important to I think it's important to be wrong and to fail and to try, uh, but then to try again and to pick up and go again, like that adversity piece, and that's that's a lot of what I learned at the firm was you know you spend an entire week doing a working paper and then you put it into review and you just get like coaching note and coaching note and everything you thought you did right oh i thought you were gonna say shit on and i was well, like i, yeah. I didn't know are, <laughs> like, are we are we able to corrupt the youth with this because yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, we're very transparent it's important that they know what they're going into yeah, so that they like, can like yeah like you get shit on and you get shit yeah. on a lot and and you think like you go in and you're like oh i just graduated and i know what i'm doing and then you do a working paper and like there's not one person who shits on you. There's like four, like it goes to your senior and then your manager and the senior manager and then the partner, and then maybe the quality of review and you get coaching notes the whole way. Like if you, if you don't kind of build up that ability to, to learn and to understand that that is part of the learning process, uh, it, it makes for a pretty short time. Uh, but that's what, you know, I, I think that the people who, who served me best in my career are the ones who coached me the hardest and gave me the hardest coaching notes and picked on me. Like, Look, I detail orientation is not like I'm not that great at it, but I learned that if you can't put together a pretty working paper, how can I trust that you can do the complex calculation that is behind it? And so, yeah, I had this one manager, I remember him to this day, he had a specific color blue you had to write all your notes in and he would check to make sure it was the exact blue. And it wasn't one of like the drop down blues, you had to go and find it. And to this day, I do every note with it still. Uh, and like a little like OCD, but, but, you know, it, it was that thing, like, if you can't do the little things, right, how are you going to do the big things? And if you're not going to take the feedback, uh, how are you going to grow from it? And so, yeah, the, the people who were, who, who kind of helped my growth the most were the ones, because if, if they're giving you coaching notes and if they're giving you um, coaching points, that means they care. And that means they're, they're trying to get you better. Yeah, no, completely. And you know, somebody can sit here and say, well, like, that's not the case with me. Somebody gives me coaching notes uh, or feedback and they don't want me to succeed. Well, you know what? Boo on them. They just took time out of their life to give you yeah. notes, like use yeah. them and improve and, yeah. you know, and say, thank you. Yeah. Like feedback is totally. a gift. And uh, if somebody means it with a poor intent, whatever. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and like, trust me, there's, there's lots of people, not lots, yeah. but there are people like that, right? Like there's, there's, there's good and bad apples in every apple cart. Uh, but it's, yeah, that, yeah, I I think if you can if you can learn to because you can learn something from everybody even if you know even if it's a very you know the guy likes the color blue like a specific color blue like what did I learn from that is that the best blue no but did I learn that some people are really particular and it's you know does it make me better in an area that I'm weaker yeah so uh, and I I still know the guy he's a great guy yeah yeah, yeah and then getting... did I hate him at some points yeah big time. <laughs> That also like denotes like closeness in types of relationships uh, when you can, yeah, see the positives and then, yeah. um, okay. So really interesting. I like that you shared uh, some examples because I would almost, if you're willing to, do you, does anything else come to mind? Any, um, you know, fail, fail quick, fail often, fail hard uh, and kind of items that come up. And if not, I can, I can quickly corral this. Yeah. I, I think, um, 
one of the uh, one of the ones I I walked into a presentation for a client uh, and I thought I knew what I was talking about and I didn't like I thought I could skate through it I I like you know I I would consider you know when you when you're going through your career you got to kind of figure out what what you do well individually and and as you and I talk there's going to be some people who listen that say yeah look I I played sports too and I did this and that resonates and there's other people who won't and so you got to kind of figure out hey what do you do well and what's your secret sauce right. Uh, and and part of mine is I'm I, I think I've got a bit more personality than what people think when they come to an accountant. So so I'm not the best accountant, like and I'll tell you that a hundred times. But I I should be able to translate accounting to non-accounting people, and that's kind of what I do. Uh, and I walked into a, a presentation with a client, and I I thought I knew the accounting, and I didn't. Uh, and it became pretty clear pretty quickly that I didn't know what I was talking about. And and then you lose all credibility. Like you you lose your, you know, I, I had my little speech, but I didn't know it deep enough to say like, look, I can answer a question on this. Uh, and I didn't anticipate questions and I didn't prep for it. And so so that was a that was a pretty strong kick in the teeth for me. Uh, and it just, you know, my takeaway was you got to be prepared. Like I, I, I'm not good enough to not be prepared and walk into one of those meetings. I don't know. And it, like it was a IFRS conversion. It was going from like ASPE to IFRS and it was on pp and And I, you know, I just didn't know it well enough. So. Oh, that is, that is so relatable um, uh, for so many reasons. And sometimes you have to give yourself a little bit of uh, grace too, because uh, like I've, I've prepared for things where I felt like I was prepared at the time, but then when you go into it, you quickly realize that you weren't. But there was no way for me, at least, to know mm-hmm. that I had to do more or differently had I not right. gone through that next item. And sometimes you get caught and found out, and sometimes you're able to kind of not. Yeah. And But you need to learn that lesson either way and just say, okay, just because it didn't have a bad result this time doesn't mean I didn't, there aren't things I can do in the future. Um, yeah. And so I think it's so important to, to learn, even if it's not a big like mess up, and learn from others. Uh, and so oh. to your point, maybe people resonate with this and us that, you know, played sports or maybe they're like, hey, piano or acting or they can see yeah. these different items. Um, I will agree. Maybe our detail oriented people are like, they're, they're, this is driving them crazy because like I have things off like balance or because I'm also not, uh, I'm not the most detail oriented, uh, yeah. but I also believe in like, how do I say this? Um if you're not able to kind of see the bigger picture and know where things work in, it's a skill to be like, okay, this isn't perfect. We can address it later, but the big wins are there and then yeah. own that. And yeah. then, you know, you'll find out along the way if like there's a new blue that needs to be used or like me, I had a director that liked a certain formatting on a certain spreadsheet. And I was like, yeah. bring it on. I'm like yeah. happy to use your formatting. I should have asked this before the meeting, before I did like, you know, those 80 hours worth of work on it. That's on me. Yeah. Happy to do that. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. All good. 